Hey everyone, what is up? So yeah, I am back and <laughs> really sorry that I haven't been uploading anything for like two months because I just I've just been dealing with some stuff which made me unable to upload anything like regularly for the past two months. Sometimes I wanna upload something but then just in of the situations like that so I just couldn't upload it alright. So um well if I, I I promise this won't happen again and I won't just vanish just like that and even if I did I would like notify y'all in any videos like hey I'm gonna be missing for um you know for a while right? instead of just vanishing just like that. Also um you know those who are subscribed to my channel wondering if if I'm still active or not or should I unsubscribe um well don't cause I am back regularly and yes you will be seeing more reactions from me regularly non-stop. I will try my best to um finish every series that I missed um, like for the past few months and even the new ones and you know maybe try a few movie reactions to any franchise that I haven't watched because I'm planning a lot of stuff for this channel for the near future so well um let's see what happens I guess uh, anyway so last month we got a new um, trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home this is the second trailer the first trailer made me go crazy because we saw the return of Doc Ock, we saw Electro, well, we didn't actually see him, but, yeah, and, um, Green Goblin, and Sandman, and, uh, and, uh, I think it, it could have been Lizard, because I, I mentioned the, the, with the dark figure thing in my breakdown video, and, yeah, so we saw all those guys, and after the ending of Venom, could Venom make a cameo or something in, uh, in No Way Home, I'm not sure, maybe, uh, cause I'm not really sure if Venom is ready for the MCU though, so, cause MCU is more like, like kind of kid friendly sometimes. So I don't want to see the, that dark Venom character automatically just popping up. So let's see, maybe, you know, maybe he's not, he's not meant for this universe. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> let's just wait and see. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is the second trailer. There's a stream in it. And also, I've already purchased my tickets for this movie on the 15th. Yeah, I will be watching earlier than the US, as usual, because over here they released pretty early than the US. Even Mortal Kombat, they released like two weeks before the US release, so it's awesome. Uh, you know what? Enough talk. I just want to watch this. <laughs> That's me. I, if I start watching, um, talking, I'll just keep talking. Whatever. So, um, here we go. No Way Home Trailer 2. I know this is a late reaction, but I hope you guys will watch it anyways. <sighs> Let's go. Crap. Hang on. Okay. Trailer for the trailer. Okay, just reveal every villain in the trailer for the trailer. Ever since I got bit by that spider. Really? You did? One week. You didn't even see it. <laughs> but my life has felt normal. Mm -hmm. That was when you found out. I hope you see more like swinging. Nice. Finally. When you like, watch that subway. You wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. Exactly. You watched it, Peter. You should have just kept your mouth shut. I started getting some visitors. Yeah. Let's go, Goblin. From every Hell yeah. Universe. Electro. Whoa. What was. Oh, I thought. Oh, right. That was the new suit. I forgot. I thought it was a symbiote suit. Hello, Peter. Hello, Mark. How are you? You're not Peter Parker. Excuse me? <laughs> You're not Peter Parker? Okay. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavia. Wait, they're working together? <laughs> Wait, no, what? seriously, what's your actual name? They gotta stop with this joke. <laughs> we need to send them back. <laughs> oh, so, oh, do this crap. You know, all this is kinda your mess. I know no, I'm not. The magic words myself, starting with the word. It's his fault. I mean, obviously she won't blame Peter. Please, Scooby Doo is crap. Okay, that was not funny. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go, Electro. You're flying out. Yeah, he's back. Fight ghosts. What do you mean? They he's helping them. Fighting Spider Man. It's their fate. They not all of them died fighting Spider Man. Sorry, kid. What do you mean? Oh no, don't. Okay, now we know why you attacked him. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. What is Peter doing? To our universe. Yeah, they should. <laughs> Peter. 
Wait, did you, did you hang on. Did I see it right? There's goblin. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's gotta be Willem Dafoe, right? Blizzard. Okay, I'm pretty sure he was not supposed to be alone in that shot. This is so cool. Wait, that looked like Captain America's shield, didn't it? No, not again. Wait, was it was that? Did I? Hang on. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. Oh no. December 17th, exclusively at movie theaters. Tickets on sale November 29th, no. Spider Monday. Everyone is coming through. Great, actually. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I think I saw one part, uh, where is it? I saw, um, Doc Gog actually getting attacked by Electro. Let me know the sounds too loud. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yeah, look. Doc Gog actually got attacked by him in around two minutes. Hmm. So is Ark actually helping them or something? Because that. Because. Because uh, that's the weird thing to me. Like, why is Ark with them? So did he, like, not want to attack Peter because this is not his Peter? So he's like, you know what? I'll stick around with you until I find my Peter and then I'm going to kill you either way. Or, <laughs> or what? And this shot right here, I'm pretty sure around 2.15, I'm pretty sure that's not just, that. that's, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be just a shot for um, MCU Spider-Man alone, okay? Because that place was big, and then you only have Tom Holland on the middle, I'm pretty sure there was gonna be someone else there. <laughs> and, um, they better not do the same thing again with MJ. Okay, and also, did y'all notice that glove? Um, because that looked like blue and red. Cause, because, um, well, Andrew's glove has some kind of blue in like his palm area. Which, I was like, wait, could, could Andrew be the one to save her from falling? Because he was not able to save his MJ? Because, why am I talking so slow? Uh, I'm sorry, that was just too much. Uh, okay, look, um, the way they made this trailer, I'm pretty sure um, Andrew and Toby might be in this. Because there were a lot of shots, I was like, okay, he's not supposed to be alone. Like that shot where, um, um, you know, our MCU Peter just like, Lands there, do the, does the spidey pose, and like the shot was like at a bigger place. It, it seems like someone else should be there, and then the, where there, um, <laughs> that one scene where he was like flying towards um lizard, electro, and uh, and Sandman. It looked like it had to be more people instead of him alone taking all three. Because if he took all three, he would die. <laughs> so. They're just dropping like small hints like this that someone might be there. And also, we already got a similar scene in Venom, where um, uh, Anne falls from that um, church tower and then, you know, in slow motion. The same thing with how um, Gwen Stacy died in uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And even in this one, we saw the same thing, MJ falling. So could we see Andrew possibly saving this universe's MJ because he couldn't save um, you know, his Gwen Stacy. Could, could, could. I mean, I don't really mind if this MJ dies. I mean, because <laughs> she's not really like Mary Jane and I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of this MJ because I don't know, she's kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> also, this is not, speaking of MJ, this is not Doctor Strange's fault. Okay, this is Peter. When Doctor Strange was doing his thing, Peter just came in and be like, Wait, MJ won't remember who I am. Ned won't remember. This person won't remember. That person won't remember. Dude, just, it's okay. Like, you can just tell all the, you know, super friends of his, like the Avengers, Hey, I'm Spider-Man. Because, 
you know, but it's okay if someone, uh, everyone else forgets it because that's what you wanted. That's what you asked for. And then here's MJ like, oh, it's all your fault. It's not Dr. Strange's fault. It's Peter's fault. Okay. And also, what was that with Peter stealing that cube thing with the Sanctum logo on it? Is Peter trying to mess something up? Also, um, Doctor Strange mentioned that they all died fighting Spider-Man. I, I don't think so, because, well, well, Goblin definitely did. Doc Ock didn't actually die fighting him, because at the end he did like, um, you know, got control of the arms, and then he technically died a hero because he pulled that thing, um, you know, down with him in the river, and then um, Sandman he didn't he wasn't even a bad guy. Why would he die fighting Spider-Man? Because he wasn't even a bad guy to begin with in the movie. He was just like, you know, wanting to help his daughter and everything. Was, and, you know, he killed um, his uncle, Peter's uncles and everything. And then they were cool at the end of the movie. So he didn't actually die fighting Spider-Man. And also, um, Lizard, the same thing. He didn't die. He's in jail. Plus, he did save Peter at the end. So he's technically good, you could say. And um, Electro, he, well, he did die fighting Spider-Man, but he exploded, literally. So, like, how did, how could they bring him back? So, if, if what I said about that MJ falling scene is true, that Andrew um, is, might save her. So, it, it might be like Andrew um, and Toby Spider-Man might be taken from their universe at their present time. You know, instead. And, and well, um, the Doc Ock actor did mention that he comes to this universe after he falls into the river. So that makes sense, you know, when he falls into the river, some kind of portal could just open and then brings him to this universe. But how about Electro? He literally exploded. So how could he travel to another universe? Lizard, it makes sense, but why would he be evil? Because he was he was never evil in the first place in the movie too. He was good actually. Even in the end of the movie, he became good. He saved Peter. And Sandman is good. He didn't die fighting Spider Man. And also Goblin, he got stabbed through the heart. <laughs> so the only realistic thing that could bring um, these guys to this universe is Ark because he went into the river. No one actually saw what happened to him. So a portal could just could have just opened and brought him here, right? I'm not sure about the other story. You know what, whatever. The more we think about this, the more we go crazy because it's the multiverse. So they say there are millions of possibilities. The more we think about it, the more we get crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so, well, that is it for my reaction and for Spider-Man No Way Home, coming out December 17th, for you guys in the US over here, it comes out on the 15th, got my ticket, uh, so, pretty excited for this, and, how many days is it, or like 10 days or something, so let's see what happens if we get any Andrew and Toby in the movie, or we get, I don't know, Venom in the movie, in case, I mean, I don't know. You know what? I, I don't want to say anything because the more I like make theories for myself, the more I like, I'd be like, wait, what is like this? You know? So it's better to just wait and then watch what happens. Also, well, yeah, speaking of Electro, why does he have like mechanical stuff now? Because uh, I didn't actually follow Electro that much in the comics, but I know that his power was more like his own power. And he didn't actually like use certain stuff to give him power, right? So he had the power himself. So maybe those like like tech stuff in his body was to channel the electricity. And also he had that star thing in his face that's comic accurate. So you know uh, that, that's what I was thinking actually. I forgot to mention that earlier. Like why does he need that thing? Cause so cause I'm not really that um like I've never actually read a lot of comics for a with Electro in it, you know, and I do know that he has the power himself, you know, he didn't actually use another thing as, you know, maybe it's like just something to channel his power, like Thor, you know, in the MCU, he used the hammer to channel his power, even though he already has the lightnings, could, could be something like that, right? But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say for 
this reaction. I hope you enjoyed my reaction for Spider-Man No Way Home. I know this is a late reaction. I hope you guys watched anyway. And if you did like my reaction, stick around in my channel, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if it did not, it's okay. Uh, hopefully I can make it uh, make it up to you. <laughs> uh, maybe make better reactions next time, okay? Or maybe more punctual. <laughs> Alright, uh, anyways, that is it. Um, thank you very much for watching my reaction. Again, I think I've said it already. But yeah, whatever. So, but yeah, I'm just going to end it here. Um, again, thank you for watching. So, I'll see you in my next reaction. Goodbye.